Okay, a helium tank contains 3.42 kilograms of helium. So I'm gonna use this, by the way, as my N. Okay, now I know I have to divide that, multiply by 1,000, divide by 4.003 to actually make it N, but it doesn't matter because the, the, the combined gas law lets me use anything that's proportional to a quantity, right? But we can't use gauge pressure, and we can't use gauge pressure on both sides, uh, and that's because, uh, for example, you know, if I change the pressure from 1 to 2 PSI gauge, uh, you'd predict that the temperature would have to double, but in fact, that's just a subtle change, right? One to two PSI gauge is from 15.7 PSI. That'd be one PSI gauge, right, uh, to 16.7. It would be a rather subtle change, right? Um, anyway, so let's um, let's turn this stuff. We need to turn this into absolute pressure, right? Um, and then, of course, I gave the how much we released. We need to figure out how much we have, right? Um, so let's figure out our relationship and let's figure out what we need to do with these numbers. Uh, so PV over NT is equal to PV over NT, right? Now I'm assuming the temperature stays constant because they don't even talk about it. I'm assuming that the volume stays constant. So this is pressure over N is pressure over N, right? Um, and I feel like uh, pressure one we need to go 145 plus 14.7, right? So it has to be absolute when we do this. So 145 plus 14.7 is 159.7, right? N1 is equal to, uh, I think that's the uh, 3.42, right? Uh, I believe that pressure two It's going to come out to be gauge pressure, and when we're done, we're going to have to subtract 14.7 to find the absolute pressure. I'm sorry, wait. It's going to come out as absolute pressure, and we're going to need to subtract 14.7 to make it uh, gauge pressure. Okay? And then N2 is actually how much you have left. So 3.42 take away 1.13. So I'm trying to sucker you into using the 1.13, but you don't want to do that. 3.42 minus 1.13. 2.29. So now, now I think we're ready to, to try this, right? So pressure one is 159.7 PSI. And then the amount that we have is 3.42 kilograms. All right, and then that equals pressure two, which we're gonna figure out divided by 2.29. So, so there's you know less helium, so there'll be less pressure, right? Okay. Um, now notice, notice we're using kilograms down there. Really there's moles, but if you divide both sides, multiply both denominators by 1,000, divide both denominators by 4.003, this will still be true. And I'm just choosing not to do that. So, okay, so I'm gonna go 159.7 divided by 3.42. And then I'm going to multiply by 2.29, and I get uh, I get 106.93, and that's psi, and that's absolute, right? So when you do this this law, you it still has to be absolute, absolute temperature, absolute pressure, absolute uh, moles. Um, absolute volume. If, if you, I'm trying to think of a way to make it non-absolute volume. Right? Okay, so now now we want to figure out what the gauge pressure is because it says what's the gauge pressure. So uh, P absolute is pressure gauge plus one atmosphere. So let's see, absolute is 106.93. Gauge is what we want. And then an atmosphere in PSI is 14.7. Don't 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 make it a one. I see kids do that. It's it just makes me sad. I'm, I, I shed a tear as I mark it wrong. And then when I get this, the, the gauge pressure is uh, ninety two point two psi. That's how much more than an atmosphere it is. All right, all right.